big day is a super Sunday and we are ready for the super clash. That's a beautiful view of the Independence Square of Ghana leading up to the Accra Sports Stadium. The venue for this big game here at the Accra Sports Stadium is Kumasi Asante Kotoko up against Accra Suffolk. That's a beautiful scene leading up to the game. Really, it's a beautiful one. Usually, this, this part of the capital would have been packed with cars and filled with lots of vehicles. But on today, where the stadium is empty because of the pandemic, it is in an empty stadium, but it's a compelling fixture that is to come. An absolutely compelling fixture here at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's the biggest rivalry in Ghana football. It's a fixture everybody has been looking forward to. And it doesn't come any better when these two teams are trying to find their rhythm in the wake of their own controversial circumstances within their camp. Mass resignation sitting out of work, going four games without a win. They got a stopgap coach who has steered them to two wins in a row. Kotoko exited Africa, shifted their focus in the Premier League, got their game against the Chem United reined up. What it means to them. And we'll find out today if all the trouble that has happened with Hearts of Folk would be any up front and Fabio Gama steps in to replace problematic for Kotoko. Super clash. Hearts of Oak away to Kotoko in their own territory. Salome our blessed whistles. Game underway. Welcome. This is Star Times. Adipa Channel 247. It's a super clash. Kotoko, Hearts of Oak. Here is Sak. Enterprise and left back. He finds Fabio Gama. This is Asante Kotoko. Kwame Poku goes down in the box. Penalty. And Nuru Sule will be asking questions of Yao Bless. That's whistles. Kwame Poku. Poku! No! Nope. Goalkeeper Richard Atta grabs it. Trouble if they, those fullbacks tell off forward and they are protected. This should be a goal. Obin Junior. What was he thinking? But Mubarak Yusuf has been left off the hook. You touch. Now supporter Obin Junior. Trying to take on the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper read the situation well, stepped off the Anabela, lovely turn. Jemfi. Anabela is interested in the run. Yes, he goes forward. Pass from Anabela. Nabi Keita's effort goes wide. Cluster of being junior. Lovely switch looking for Patrick Razak. Against the woodwork. Edu. Over the top is the goal kick. But had to foot. Obin Junior spotted the run of Patrick Razak. The flag went up, but I'm not sure Patrick Razak was offside. And that was so close onto the woodwork. Obin Junior spotted that run, and that is where Kotoko would have to be worried. The pace of Patrick Razak did everything right here, beat the goalkeeper. Manaf, he's got Obin Junior to the middle, Razak to the left. Lovely skill from Patrick Razak. He skips past Nete. Razak again. Patrick Razak! Good goalkeeper from Avalora. But hey, Razak had been Junior in the middle. He had Manaf behind him. He decided to go for Razak. Not particularly the best of touches, but Nete had committed himself. Went past Mubarak as if he wasn't there. Difficult for him to pick out that pass to Obin Junior from here. I mean, his left is not his strongest side. So maybe he could have used his left right there to hit it. Still went with his right. Just couldn't generate the power he'd want. These are the games you need to be showing up. And that whistle go. The first half is over. To go for the second half. Here we go. Obuka. Yes, he goes for goal. Just over the top. Ted Nana was looking to catch him into. Mango drifted into the middle areas. Sweet pass from Manav to Patrick Razak, and he's got a first goal. An unbelievable miss. Patrick Razak. And Patrick Razak hit that ball across the face of goal, trying to catch the goalkeeper on the far side. Again, just lovely pass from Sarkodia to Nete. That's what to find Jeffy. Nabi Keita! Good goalkeeping from Richard Atta. It was direct, but he had it well covered. Again, it, it had only one thing on his mind. Lining that one up for a shot. Straight down to the goalkeeper, Richard Atta. I don't think Paul. Here is Fatal Mohammed. Switches one inside. Abalora comes forward, it's a penalty. That touch is the Austrian leg of Razak Abalora that catches the striker. There you see the referee points to the spot, I think. He steps forward, Abalora saves! Abalora has saved the penalty. 
take a look at him. His head is down. He's not seeing the goalkeeper. He just kicked the ball. And now Razak Abbas on that occasion. An audacious attempt from Isaac Mensah, and it goes wide. He's trying to cut the goalkeeper from there. It's a difficult skill to execute. Right up to the roof of the net. Yeah. There you see it. was trying to sort of go before the line. Was thinking with catching. Just couldn't master the skill to trouble the goalkeeper from there. Here is Jemfi. He's got Kwame Poku in the middle. Jemfi sends across. Kwame Poku. Good goalkeeping from Richard Atta. Well covered. Good reading of the situation by the bigness because that was by accident that it came off Kwame Poku there. He had to be alert. Watch it all the way and then make the save. Yeah, it wasn't the most powerful. It's Poku against Mohamed Al Hassan. And this time Poku gets the ball away from Al Hassan. Poku against the side post, against the crossbar. The woodwork to the rescue of the Phobians. Saved by the woodwork there. All his own work. Poku picking up the ball. Beats more Al Hassan to red cut onto his favorite right foot. And drove that powerfully. That was angling into the top corner. Yeah. What a hit that was. So, so unlucky for me, Poku. Beautiful pass. Yes, Fabio Gama. Fabio Gama. Asante Kotoko in the half, in the 80-yard box of Aton. Anabila. His effort goes far and wide. It's a goal kick. That's... Crystal to his mouth. He's blown. It is over. Hatsabok and Kotoko. Highly entertaining game. We didn't get any goals. Two missed penalties. Clear cut goals, current opportunities flopped. And in the end, it's Kotoko nil. Hatsabok nil in the Super Clash at the Akraspo Stadium.